Christina Aguilera. No, no, that was terrible. Whoever was driving just now just wrecked because uh, of the the, the 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 effect of what we just laid down. The awesomeness. Maybe. Let's try it again. Okay. Dude, now we're a dubstep band. God, we're good. That was amazing. We're the best in the business. Hey, everybody. I'm Rob Riggle. I'm Darren Leader. And this is Riggle's Picks. Uh, with us, as always, we got Claire and Gary. Together known as? Clary. Thank you. Um, They're uh, uh, back there in the booth um, getting ready with all the crazy crack em ups and the yucks with the uh, sound effects. Yep. You know, like the woo. Oh, yeah, the, the whistle. Yeah, the long whistle and the uh, crickets and the duck fart and all the good stuff. Yep. And the so, tumbleweeds and all the things. Yeah. Um, hi, Darren. Hi, Rob. It's been a while. It's been a long time. And, and it's, it's really nice to see you. You know what? I never get sick of seeing your face. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's pretty good. Okay. I'll take that. Yep. You know what? I'm not even going to question it. That's the kind of mood I'm in today where I'm just, I'm taking everything in stride. Are you, are you peaceful today? I'm peaceful. I did my mantra. What is it? Um, I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with others. I'm at peace with the world. And, and how I, I repeat that 500 times, and then I go beat the shit out of my punching bag. Okay. I thought you were going to say that go beat the shit out of someone. No, God, no. I, after all that yeah, peace, like, peace world? Well, you know how they talk about yin and yang? Yeah, no, no, no. That's no. balance. Uh, that's why I beat the bag to I get death. That. Well, it's not really living, so, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So that's your yang. Just consider it balance achieved. Yeah. Well, I see complete harmony right now. Can you believe it's May? Maybe not. What? Hey, now. No, you didn't. No, I can't. It's time. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. It's ticking into T the future. future. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it keeps coming, dude. Dude, it won't stop. I know. It won't. That's the one thing that doesn't stop. You know what I? Uh, you know what I don't like, but I also like, because I'm a dad. Mm. May the fourth be with you. Mm. I that that joke is uh which by the way I'm not kidding remember remember back in April when we were talking about all the the fancy holidays in April How could I forget Well there's got holidays in May and May 4th Don't tell me Yes don't say it I swear I swear What are you about to say Star Wars day Is it really Yes Do you think it's because of the it's joke It's totally got to be because of the joke It's pretty I mean it's a clever joke It's clever People say it like you've never heard it though yeah. that's the bummer like, may the fourth be with you. Like, and then they look at you like, huh? Yeah. Huh? You're like, you have a lisp? Yeah. Cool. May the I got fourth, it. I get it. I got it. Yeah. But it's still classic. Hey, do you think that people with actual lisps go, now you get it? Yeah. Hey, may the fourth be with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> do you know what I'm I was fine <laughs> until you did the extra. Well, seriously. Oh, God, don't do that. All right. Okay. But Gary, you knew it was Star Wars Day on the fourth, didn't you? Absolutely. In fact, my best friend is getting married on May the fourth this year. Okay. Oh, that's, May we, the fourth be with him. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> yeah, and he obviously was in on the joke and realized it because on the wedding invitation it says May the fourth. Oh, and yes. why would you ever write the date that way? No, unless you, wouldn't. you got it. You exactly, exactly. And of course, we all know what the fifth is. Obviously, Cinco de Mayo. Yep. Uh, it's interesting. It goes Star Wars holiday and then straight uh, Margaritaville. Because that's basically what you drink on Cinco de Mayo, right? Hmm. I don't know that. What do you drink on Cinco de Mayo? Cerveza. Oh, you go beer? Yeah. Okay. I go, and I go Mexican beer specifically, Dos Equis. Understood. Modelo? Modelo's sometimes, good, too. Sometimes I, I like to have margaritas without the margarita mix or the salt. Okay. So tequila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The Kentucky Derby is also this month. That's not a day, necessarily, but it's an event. It is an event. People get... People get dressed up for that one. Have you ever been? I've never been. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. You were born in Louisville? Yeah. And do you say Louisville or Louisville? Louisville. Okay. Louisville? Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. Look back and back and throat. You know, you know what day the Kentucky Derby's on this year, right? May 4th. May the 4th. May the 4th. If there is not a, a, a fucking horse that looks like C-3PO, I'm going to be mad. There better be a horse named Yoda or C-3PO. Jawa. Or Skywalker. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Oh, dude, Skywalker, Skywalker. for the win. Oh. On May the 4th? 
I'd bet. I'd bet big. I'd, Everybody will. I would bet that big. If there is a horse breeder out there who has a ho- race horse, change the name. Change the name now to Skywalker. To Skywalker. Game and, over. And run him in the Derby. It. You'll win. It can't lose. You'll win because the fourth will be with you. <laughs> Certainly it will. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, man. Why haven't you been to the Derby? Huh? I mean, I know we're doing- Honestly, because it's 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 uh, opportunity. I just, I, I have haven't you, had the opportunity. Have you been invited? No. Oh. So I haven't had the opportunity. It always sneaks up on me. Okay. And I, I, I hear about it or I see it. I'm like, oh, I meant to, you know, I want to do that sometime. I want to do that at some point. I would think Also, that- I don't own a seersucker suit. You got to buy one of those. Right. Um, And- from what I've seen, it's a shit show. It's like it seems it, like in it the would sense be. that everybody, it's an all day, all day drinking event. Yeah, and so everybody's and they're all in nice clothes, and then everybody's just hammered. I I don't kind of do, like the the waste management. Open. Yeah, <laughs> I don't do well with with day drinking. Uh, I I will fall asleep somewhere. Yeah, just don't I just don't don't. Can you day drink? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you do day drink, I'm curious about this because I think that there's people out there who are listening or watching who are like, oh, man, I can't day drink because I'll fall asleep or I'll just end up, you know, yeah. a mess. Do you have to prepare your mind for the day drinking or do you can just do it on a on a whim? You have to pace yourself. Okay. And you have to plan. You have to plan a little bit. Okay. You can't just wing it. What are you planning? Um, when I'm going to get my food and my nap. Okay. Before a rebound. So what happens is, I'm, I was associated with tailgating, you know, like a college football sure. game or something. So you start in the morning, you have a couple beers, a couple Bloody Marys, you get the friendly working buzz going, you enjoy the game. Then uh, afterwards, you have a little bite to eat, maybe sneak in a nap. That's the sneaky nap time. How long's the nap? It, optimal. Hour. Oh, okay. Power hour. Power hour. Then, okay. you, then you back up and you back out the door. Don't dilly dally. Right. Get back on the scene. It's the dilly dallying I get caught up in. That's where you get. That's where most people get pinched. Yeah, is the dilly dally. You got to force yourself to go. Yeah. Okay. That's why I say plan. You have to be. Yeah. You have to plan. What do you? And you got to have good wingmen and women around you. You got to have yeah. people who are you know pushing you. The support is important. Yeah. Because because left to your own devices, you'll stay in bed. Th- that's me. You'll stay in bed or whatever. But if, you, but if your crew is pounding on the door, blowing your phone up, you know, calling your names, next thing you know, you're back on the scene. Okay. Ready to go. Hot to trot. Wow. Do you, and how late do you go after a sesh of day drinking? How late to the night do you go? Oh, man, that depends. That really depends. Did we win the game? You did. Mm. You won the championship game. Forget about it. It's all night. That's all night. I love your commitment. Yeah. Yeah. I was more of a day drug guy. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I could do <laughs> drugs all day back in the day. Uh, I can't I, now. I couldn't. I, I, that was not my scene. That wasn't my bag. I get it. Everybody's got their thing. You know, I was I was good at it. You were good at day drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, do you see day drinking in your future occasionally? Oh, again, only for, for special events. I don't wake up and start drinking. No, no, no I know. I, I get uh, it. But like if it's a, you know, if it's a college football game or a, a, celebration. Or a Chiefs game. Or, or a derby. Or if I'm, you know, a lot of times, I'm not going to lie, like a hot summer day, you're out at the ballpark watching the Royals win another one. I like to have a beer and a dog or a beer and some peanuts. No one's, I, I get that. Hot day, cold beer, I can do that often. Yeah. Not in the same day, but it's refreshing and it's good. But like if I start adding alcohol to my day, like mm-hmm. consistently, mm-hmm. I'm just done for. Yeah. I'm and done. don't get me wrong, there's many a day drink that ends with uh, dinner. Around seven, six or seven, followed by immediate rack. Okay. See, I get that. <laughs> immediate. I get that. You know, and down all night until the next day. So, uh, you know, it, 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 like I said, it can come and go. It depends. Are, the, are they hot times, good times? Mm-hmm. Then, you know, you ride the wave. Sometimes yeah. the wave peters out. Yeah. You know, it depends on the crew. Is the, is the crew riding strong? Or are they kind of, you know, pussyfooting around? Yeah. yeah it, 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 it all... It are, really... you, are you the instigator in your crew? Or are you more of like a go with the flow guy? Mm, I'm guilty of both. Oh. I'm guilty Does of both. Does it depend on the event? Yeah. Depends oh. on the event and the and the vibe. I get you. Vibe is everything. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a good vibe and the energy's good, we hadn't seen each other in a long time, we're catching up, we're laughing, we're telling stories, everybody's in the right frame of mind. It's go time. 
ride that thing. Okay. You know, that's a good time. Don't turn it off early. Yeah. If everybody's tired, they're mad at their spouses, their bills are overdue. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're here, but they shouldn't, you know, they should be home working or you're doing, you know, they're, they're not present. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to call be, it a day. It's hard to be where you don't feel like you're supposed to be and enjoy it. Yeah. Even with golf. Yeah. Like if, if I know I got a bunch of stuff to do, I'm like, and I just I'm find myself on the first tee box. I'm like, I should not be here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hard. It to, ruins the golf. Yeah, yeah. And also checking your phone when you play golf. Oh, that can ruin your round. One phone call or one, one text can throw your whole game off. Can throw your whole life off sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> If you know, you know. You know. Come on. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> okay, so May, though, May has is loaded with crazy holidays. Okay, we were at the, we were at the 5th. We were at Cinco de Mayo. What's after that? Uh, National Nurse Day. That's fine. They, they deserve it. Yes, they do. No Socks Day. I don't know. That sounds stupid. Uh, clean your... No. Eat What You Want Day. Eat What You Want that Day, May 11th. So many different directions. And then the next day is Mother's Day. Which is classic. That's a classic. That is, a, you know what? That is a fan favorite. Chocolate Chip Day, National what? Chocolate Chip Day, which I'm down for. Can I ask you a question? That's my granddad's birthday. What? Who are the people that Maybe. are declaring these days? The, it says national, so I'm assuming it's a, a federal a, agency. Is there a national chocolate chip committee? Well, I don't know about that, but I, I do believe, and I, I don't have the proof. So bear with me. Yeah. But I do believe with the size of our government Mm -hmm. that there is a federal bureaucracy that sits around and decides what each day's holiday is going to be. I want to. So if I would love to sit on that committee, (laughs) if anyone's listening to this or watching it and you know about how holidays are official, like become Become national chocolate chip. Right. Like what? What the F? And it might just be the lobbyist. It might be the chocolate chip lobby. Going, going to, going to Congress and saying, guys, chocolate chips are incredibly important. You think they're just greasing people? Going, dude, make this a national yeah. holiday. Let's go. Yeah. And Hershey's going to hook you up, Mister. Nestle did it, or Hershey Congressman, did it? with a little campaign donation. Uh, was it Nestle or because Nestle chocolate chips? That's Hershey chocolate chip day. You think oh, so? Nestle. I see. Yeah, with you the yellow it? bag. Come on. Oh, you're you're right. So, dude, who's who's responsible for it? Yeah. Not to mention, they're probably also lobbying. To keep European chocolate out of America. Oh, you know that's happening. Yeah, you know that's happening. They tariffs. They, they are so anti Toblerone, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. All that German and, and Dutch chocolate, oh, Swiss, Swiss chocolate. Forget. I love Swiss milk chocolate. Mm. But the, you, you're not going to get it here because of the tariffs, because uh, of the the chocolate lobby. There's a new tariff in town. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's Arms Forces Day, which I love. I appreciate that. Yeah, love By the that. way, again, to you, I will say thank you for serving. Hey, thanks, buddy. Everybody appreciates it. Oh, that's very nice. Lucky Penny Day. Come on, that's, that's stupid. But it's not national. See, that's just a Lucky Penny Day. Okay, yeah. It's I'm, not national. You know what? I'm declaring a national holiday, new one. National Tattoo Day. Okay. That's what I'm declaring. Okay. And you have some tattoos. I have, I've been known to have a tattoo or two. Yeah. Or four or eight. Or That already exists. What? Gary, Gary, are you? Don't even, don't even play with. What are you coming at us with right now? Don't play with. To, I just want you to celebrate in July on the seventeenth. Oh, July seventeenth. That's my day. That's your day, That's man. My, I got a day. You got a day. I got a day. Yes. Come on. We just high fived. Wow, dude, I didn't know that there was a tattoo. Mark it on your calendar, bro. I'm going to. Mark it, it on should your be calendar. on every calendar that sold National Tattoo Day. I, can we log? Can we? Who's a? What's our our congresswoman J- J- Julian? Bowerman, Bowerman, Julian yeah. Phil, Phil I, I, uh, I, uh, fire, I fired up a uh, an email to the uh, the big calendar lobby. So Thank you. Thank you. We'll see. Because when I go to Target and I pick up a new calendar for twenty nine ninety nine, which is complete rip off, I want to see July seventeenth, National Tattoo Day in there. I'll tell you what else is going down. What do you got? May twenty first, Victoria Day. That's a big Canada, Claire. That's a big thing in Canada. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Uh, it's when you become a hoser. See? Oh, right. Out, oh, out there yeah. in the back 40, eh? Oh, sure. Okay. Big hoser. So, hey, wait. Victoria Day is about Canada? Yeah. We have a national holiday. About- no, it doesn't say national. It just says it's Victoria Day in Canada. Okay. So I think it's more of a heads up. Gotcha. We're letting you know this is going down. Yeah, there are there are friends to the north. Yeah, no no so, doubt. So they're just letting us know, hey, the Canadians will be celebrating today. That's kind of just strange to me that they would sell a, 
a calendar in a country. It's our capital. Yeah, Victoria. Yeah, that's it. It's their capital day. Yeah, everybody knows that. When yeah. we take the citizenship test for Canada, we all have to answer that. That's right. And they uh, uh, just don't touch, don't touch their Molson Golden. No. That's the only thing you can't do on that day. Is that right, Claire? Yes. Yeah, you can't touch their Molson Golden. She sounds like she's just saying words no yes she no. she's canadian she or she was she i guess you have both dual now. Dual. You're dual now yeah yeah hey oh hey you're dual eh oh you're dual dual eh yeah all right all right oh that's great oh you're gonna like this one talk to me this is national this is a national what do you got buy a musical instrument day stop it right there national buy national buy a musical instrument day that's that makes me happy Right, I think everybody should s- celebrate that. Go buy a musical instrument, whether it's a little flute or a recorder or a drum set or a whole amp, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Go buy a musical instrument and play it. Just even if you suck, yeah, it's good for you. That's uh, that's May twenty second, everybody. I love that day. Yeah, that's May twenty second. Uh, what instrument would you encourage people to buy just on mass? Ooh, well, on mass you can't go buy pianos. They're big and they're mm-hmm. expensive. Mm-hmm. On mass, I would encourage people to go buy a guitar. Guitar. Yeah, it's it's super small, portable, playable anywhere, pretty much. Play guitar, play guitar, really far. That's not it. It's a John Mellencamp song. That's cool. Which song is it? I think it's called Play Guitar. Way to go, creativity. Um, I think uh, you think people should go buy a guitar, whether it's an acoustic or an electric. Go buy. If you don't want a whole guitar, go get a ukulele. Make noise. Make sound. It's good for your brain. It's good for your heart. Okay, I like that. You're right. Music. I don't know. A, I don't know a culture in the world that doesn't have music. No, it's. I don't know a culture in the world, and the, it's universal. Mm-hmm. Everybody enjoys music. Uh, a song can set a melody. A melody can set a, a a mood. Absolutely. I mean, some of the best movies or 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 stage plays or anything I've ever seen that's moved me. Usually there's an accompanying piece of music that goes along with it that you're it and then once that is locked in, anytime you hear that song, you either get happy or sad or melancholy, whatever it is. Yeah, even even if it's not a song or it's it's just uh, you know, sound, like ominous sound, right? Mm-hmm. Like a pitch, like a, a certain note, and it's like in your watching a dramatic scene, one note held out can can change the feel. Mm-hmm. It's like, crazy. Yeah. That's when you take a dump, that's what it sounds like. There's a, that one note, and it goes on. Like that? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Is that the sound for you? What's your sound? <sighs> it's um, quicker. It's a lot quicker than that. Oh. That's a hard pitch to understand. Like it's that? More, it's Morse code. It's more like a Morse code. It sounds like you need and to it eat- always comes out as help. Oh really? If you actually li- if you were to record it. It sounds like you need to eat more fiber. <laughs> Clearly. You know what I mean? Clearly. Oh, here's one that I I appreciate. What do you got? May 28th. This is the day after Memorial Day. Um total respect. Um National Hamburger Day. National Hamburger. Is there a National Cheeseburger Day? I don't know about that. I don't. That's not my thing, man. I'm just going off of what May has to offer. No, I understand that. Because today's May first, right? And there May first is. is May Day. It is. And May Day is. I'm sorry. Did you say there was one, Gary? September 18th. So okay, this is my question. Why is that that and hamburger day is? Because they're two different things. A cheeseburger is not a hamburger, and nor is a cheeseburger a hamburger. Clearly. Okay, so that's why you have two different days for it. Why wouldn't you have back to backs? Because that'd just be that's too much. That's too much. All right. So they had to spread them out. I accept it. Yeah. And now on your cheeseburger, what kind of cheese do you get? American cheese. Yeah, okay. Come on. There's only one cheese. Thank you. Yeah. Um, May Day is is happening as we speak. Um, uh, May Day, international uh, uh, call for trouble. Right. What is that? Like May Day, help. May Day, May Day. What is that? Where does that come from? It comes from the fact that May Day is traditionally some sort of so Soviet socialist communist holiday. Really? Yeah. And so we say May Day because we're not Cause communists. Because it, it means all hell's breaking loose. Okay. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 
You're, you're guessing. I'm guessing. Okay. I'm making shit up. All right. But it is May Day. May Day is real. And it is celebrated by socialist and communist. Um. It, it was uh, it was it was part of the, they used to do the big May Day parade in mm-hmm. this, the old Soviet Union where they you know drive their missiles by and everybody right. salute them and you know that's what they worship. Look at the big missiles. Look at the look at our missiles. We're going to kill everybody. Right, and we're so proud of it. Do you feel like that's kind of like the same as a guy walking around telling everybody how badass he is, but he, if he gets in a real fight with a guy who's like a real fighter who doesn't say anything, he just gets his ass hammered. Uh, not not ass hammered. He gets his ass kicked. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand your question. Can you understand anything I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, you know, the big parades with the big missiles. Yeah, so it's too like, much show. Like, yeah, like, it's, exactly. It's, it's like the guy in the monster truck. He's compensating. Ex- that's what I'm saying. Okay, now I got you. Yeah, I, so I was tracking. You were looking at me like... Because the way you pieced that sentence together, it really, it made my brain die. It was when I said, get his ass hammered, huh? Three <laughs> three <laughs> no, three that did not... That wasn't off. it. It was the everything leading up to it that. It seemed like that was the part where you're like, oh, I don't understand what we're doing. No, no. But I understand what you're saying now. It was compensation. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, though, May Day, there because there was a, a, a big workers' movement in the United States as well back in the late 1800s. And I think May Day has something to do with uh, uh, the labor parties and, 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 and things like that trying to uh, improve working conditions and so they i think it was a big lobby for an eight-hour work day like which is what we still have today uniony stuff sort of yeah i think it was it was it was just to, it was a something to improve worker conditions overall worker conditions and, and the eight-hour work day was the result of it interesting which we you still right, have Rob, it, it is that it yeah it commemorates the uh the gains made by labor and uh and workers that's crazy there you go and the, and the eight-hour work day that's part of it right Yes, sir. There did you, you hear that they're trying to talk about a four-day w- work week? I did. What's up with that? I love it. Do you? Yeah. I mean, look how efficient we are now. You don't need the old schedule. Like, right. with the way things are done, Be, I mean, if people are being honest, mm-hmm. how much work do they really do in a work day? Uh, I, I hear you. It's kind of the same as daylight savings time. We don't need it. We have electricity. Yeah. And also, if you're getting your work done, that's the only measure. Right. Or, well, I shouldn't say the only measure. It's... Primary measure, is your work getting done? Is it getting done satisfactorily or above satisfactorily? Right. And um, are you meeting the company's goals, right? If you work for somebody. Right. If you're doing all those things, the man should get off your jock. Get off my nuts. Yeah, get off. Yeah. Back up, shut up, stay out my face. Oh. Yeah. I like your fire right now. Yeah. Well, that's what they should do. You're making- So four days, you can get it done- you know what? What do you do on a Friday? Me? Go- if, if you, if I you, golf. Yeah, and nine nine out of ten people fuck around on a Friday. Right. They're not doing anything. They go in, they check in. Da, 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 da. Maybe they clean up some things on their desk for the weekend so they can you know have a little peace. But they can also do that from home. You're not wrong. And you know what? Even golf courses they they call Friday weekend for weekend rates. Come on. So it feels like it's already out there. It right. is already. We just gotta. We gotta make it official. We gotta talk to the people who, who are making these calendar holidays, and whoever's official, we need to get to them, and implement the four day work week. We may have talked about this, but what's missing for May? What's missing? Anything? What's missing? Yeah, like a holiday you need to see in May. Um, I can't think of it. A national Air, National Airhorn Day. Mm. Oh yeah. Well done, Gary. What better time? We need National, one somewhere. We do. When was the last time you saw any kind of air horn celebration? Uh, I don't. I have not. And, Ever. and yeah, just because it doesn't have a day. No. Is there a National uh, Rotary Club Day? Hmm? No. Or National Elks Lodge Day? No. Do you know what those things do? Yeah, they're they're uh, f- like fraternal organizations. Uh huh. That what is are com- are in communities, okay, and people that are members of these organizations. Wow, I have an update. Yep, oh. there is a National Rotary Day, and it's in May. My God, it's not on my list. May the fourth. I <sighs> must have I must have get garnered that knowledge somewhere along the way of life. Star Wars has swallowed up all the shine. That's of National right. Rotary That's, Day. You nailed it. That's exactly what's going on. Yeah, freaking Yoda. 
Yep. Came in he came in and, and stole it. Said, no, Rotarians, not for you. Yeah. Yotary, Rotary. That's mm. it. God dang it, man. Is I've off, I've often been curious about Elks Lodges and Moose Lodges and Rotary Clubs in communities because I just don't know what the hell they do. They get together and they do community service, right? Like what? if the church downtown's breaking down, they get together and they try to raise funds. They have they they uh, do service hours. Okay, they're making their communities better. There it is, and June. and they generally have a bar in their in the basement. Okay, and they socialize. Now it's we're social. getting social. Yeah, and th- but that's how it should be. It shouldn't all be work. Is it all? Is it all men in Elks Lodges? I don't. Th- Maybe back in the day, right? But not anymore. I don't do you, think. Do you think? Uh, and I know I'm tangenting, but and I'm guessing. I don't know. I get it. Yeah. Um, but we do have a crack team of researchers that are about to drop some knowledge on us. Okay. Um, do you think that there should be um, golf country clubs that are men only or women only? Do you think that they should be allowed to do that? And I know it's a little controversial, but I just was curious because I have feelings about it. I don't. I don't know the right answer to that. I don't think. I, I think exclusion is a bad idea. If we're being serious, I am. I think. I think exclusion is is, is a bad idea. However, I don't like the idea of someone legislating who you have to be friends with or spend time with. That's the interesting part about so, it. So, so, but that's why you know you have private clubs. But private country clubs yeah, can't but be I, men only. Yeah, I, and and also I don't think exclusion is a good idea. I think it's a really really bad idea you, you kind of can't have one without the other the like you either have the right to i'm not trying to be argumentative but you either have the right to have a men only club or a women only club or you are forced to not and you don't have the right yeah you know it's interesting you say that too because um uh, uh there are there are gymnasiums gyms mm-hmm. right uh, i remember when i was growing up in the curves i remember mademoiselle or mm-hmm. whatever women only gyms yep Men could not join. Totally. They couldn't use it. Even if it was the closest gym to their house or whatever, you are not welcomed here. Right. This is for women only. But that same standard didn't apply necessarily the other way. It's interesting, right? Yeah, it is. And I also, I, I just, I never liked the idea of, of someone, I don't like people making laws and legislating. I get it. You know, things like you have to be friends with these people. You, you have, have to, to be, let these, and now look, I, I'm not saying anything about color lines or religion exactly lines. i'm, I'm, I'm just talking that, about gender yeah you know like men and women like if guys want to go be guys with guys yeah. in a golf club yeah. or if women want to have their own golf club or and i use golf because they i just am yeah i i don't know what the i'm actually curious what the thought is like what's what's the best way like i i don't, I don't know. know i think that's one of those things i that that i don't know what i don't know what the answer is i'm sure there's excellent arguments on both parts sure on both sides of it um and i don't know what the right answer i is. mean this isn't that podcast where we go you yeah. know pick a side and go for it but yeah it's a interesting yeah. conundrum yeah i don't you can't legislate friendships and you can't legislate right. associations and you can't legislate you can't legislate that stuff it's yeah it's tricky yeah it's tricky and i'm not saying one's better than the other i'm just pointing it out yeah it's interesting thanks man yeah the elks lodge is in fact unisex now it was men only for a long time but it is now unisex that's what i feel like most organizations I think most are. organizations are but i have yeah. some bad news in terms of membership uh there are requirements here to become an accepted member one must be an american citizen so we're all good there claire's good claire you're in claire's in believe in god I think we're probably all pretty good there. Pretty Maybe good. not. Uh, oh, be boy. of good moral character. Okay. He's so out. Now That's... we're now we're kind of in dicey yeah. territory. Yeah, we're getting into uh, some trepidatious Sorry. areas. Sorry. It's okay. You guys go be elks. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start my own club. Okay. We're going to be called the Mooses. We're going to be called the Cheetahs. Mm. Yeah, we're the Cheetahs. That sounds like a lame street gang from the. Yeah. So does 60s. the Elks. Oh, we're the Elks. Well, no one says it like that. You did. I, I most certainly did not. Everybody listening heard you. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. Okay, whatever, Cheetah. Okay, Elkie. Hey. Elkie Summer, remember her? <laughs> no. You don't? No, who's Elkie Summer? Let's take it to the Gare. Gary, yeah. Elkie Summer. Who's Elkie Summer? Can you bring up Elkie Summer on the thing? She's a German actress. Let's see a picture of Elkie Summer. I cannot believe you don't remember her. I, maybe I do, but I just don't remember the name. I'm she's fantastic. I'm better with faces. 
Well, you're about to see some face. Look at Elky Summer. She looks like um, uh, I Dream of Jeannie. Look, look at that fourth picture in. She's lovely. She's beautiful. Lovely woman. Beautiful, beautiful. Lovely German actress. Okay, but she's from the 60s. Yeah, she's like, she's 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 old school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you don't remember that I don't that know, name. What, was, what was, was she famous for a certain role? No, Nobody, it's impossible to know. Hmm. The Pink Panther sequel? Uh, Bob Hope comedy, Agatha Christie. Yeah, she did some things, dude. Oh man, Pink Panther sequel. Yeah. Oh man. Elky Summer. So right now, there's a bunch of dudes in their car listening to this who are over sixty, going, "Yeah, yeah I remember her. I remember Elky." <laughs> Anybody who's fifty nine and below is going, "I don't know what you're talking about, bro." Well, um, I don't. That is such a. Uh, unbelievable weird reference you just pulled. There is unbelievable weirdness in my brain. Yeah. I know, dude. It, I, I have to wake up with this thing every day. I am amazed. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Amazed I get, got dressed. Well, that who pulls Elkie Summer out of their ass and then throws it up there? She was born in 1940. I have so much useless information in my head. <sighs> I can't tell you why. Oh my God! Do you ever want? Do you ever like drive around and think to yourself how weird you are? No. You never do. Sit around and think how weird I am. Yeah. Do you ever feel weird? I feel weird. You feel weird. So I don't, you... I don't sit around and go, "I'm weird." Hmm. Let me think about it. No. I look in the mirror and I say, "What's up, fool?" You say that to yourself. Yeah. And I say, like fool with I, no I, L. Yeah. What's up, fool? Yeah. What's up, fool? And I say, you want some of this? What you what you looking at? You looking at me? Do you say you looking at me? And then I do the whole De Niro thing, and then okay, and then uh, then usually a song comes on, and you know, like a dog seeing a squirrel, I change subjects and I move on. <laughs> Yourself, ADD. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do you ever have imposter syndrome? No. 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 You never go. God, when are they going to find out that I? don't really know what I'm doing along this path. No, I, I, I never have felt imposter syndrome. Have I ever uh, been nervous about doing yeah. something? Sure, of course. Right. You know, have I ever stepped out into an arena that is not, that I'm new at? Yeah. And is it terrifying? You bet. Sure. And do I screw it up? Yeah, probably. But I never feel like an imposter. You shouldn't I feel like an imposter. You should just, yeah. you should just do. Sometimes, sometimes I do. Sometimes I go, man, when are they going to figure out I don't know what the fuck I'm doing? That's crazy, though. Yeah, it is. You're a very accomplished musician. I don't know why you feel that way. I don't know. Maybe it's part of the weirdness. Uh, you know what? I'm a, Maybe I just need to punch it out of you. I'd love to fight you. <laughs> That's not what I said. Oh. I said I need to punch it out of you. Oh, just me take the punch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's different. Yeah, not fighting. Well, I, I was kidding. Okay. I don't want to fight you. 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 you said it so fast. No. You said it so fast. Gary, how fast did he say that? Like, almost super like, fast. Super fast. Like you were planning, you've been thinking about this. I don't think about fighting you on a summer day on the top of a hill with one lone tree. I never think about anything. Stop, Stop right there. That is way too specific. Okay. Well, well, we're both in Greek togas, and there's an oak tree on the top of a hill with a little quarry wall. Oh, Jesus. Not that I've ever imagined it. Okay. Well, you have clearly... The fact that you imagine it and Rob's not in a karate gi is what makes it fantastic. That's the... Not in my, not in my th fantasy. My fantasy is like f beating the hell out of him and like he falls down on a rock and the rock, he's got a toga with a, with a stone, like a, like a metal thing here and it hits the rock and it sparks and the spark jumps off into the oak tree. Oak tree catches on fire and I stand in front of it and I go, Victory! Like mm, that. Jeez. You never think about this, though? No. You do in great vivid detail. No, I don't. Well, I guess we all have little things we think about, too, so. Thanks, man. I'm not pumping that. You're not going to knuckle me no, for I'm that? No, I'm not going to knuckle you for Why that. Why not? You're talking about homicide. I'm telling you, I don't think about that. That's what I'm asking you to knuckle. <laughs> What? No, no, no. No, 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 no. You want him to knuckle his own death under exactly. a burning oak tree? No, I'm saying I wouldn't, I don't think about that. I want him to knuckle to celebrating his life. 
of going Listen, on and being a Greek citizen. This is what not thinking about it is, okay? What you describe is vivid. You've thought about it in great, you thought about it from every angle, every detail, every detail. Not thinking about it is like when I think about, you know, I see you on stage, you're playing, you know, playing your music and mm -hmm. the song ends and you're like, yeah. And then an arrow comes through the back of your head and comes out the, and like right. this. And just get stuck. And you're frozen and everybody's like, what the fuck just happened? Is that, what what's going on? You know, everybody's confused right. for about a second or two until you finally slump over your <laughs> drums, right? That's not thinking about it. That's, yeah, that's, not, that's what not thinking about it looks I like. I see the difference. Yeah. I can knuckles that. Right. Thanks, man. You bet. That's great. <laughs> you're, you're a psycho, and I love it. You're as psycho as I am. We're not as psycho as Gary. Gary's out of control. But I, if you could see what Gary thinks, I would be freaked out. Well, the fact that he's sitting right behind us. Mm -hmm. Not saying anything. Shirtless. Uh -huh. Doesn't make any sense. With a bow tie. <laughs> It's That's, freaky. It's freaky. Yeah. And I think he does it on purpose to... Hold on, I'm going to hit the mute button. Yep. I think he does it on purpose. Why? Because he wants to freak us out. He's trying to get in our heads. He's nailing it. He's he's killing it right now because I'm freaked, I'm freaked he's out. He's fucking weird. He's, he's weird. Okay, he's fucking weird. All right. Anyway. If I, you guys want to live your lives in an informal way without a bow tie like fucking savages and heathens, then go ahead. Okay. But it's not, not, not for this American. I understand. It's it, it, You're making a, a, a statement about uh, decorum and what you consider a high, very high standard. Is, is that right? That is right. Okay. So I, I appreciate, that. I appreciate all the, that. All the respect, Gary. Yeah. All the respect. What's he, what's he doing? How there? do I die in your imagination? In my imagination, how do you die? <laughs> Do you want to know this? Because I could tell you. We're on a boat. <laughs> I, I'm already disappointed. We're on a boat. It's like a 34-foot trolley craft, and it's docked out of San Diego oh, geez, in slip number again. 49J. So suspicious. 49J? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pick the slip. It was the only one available that month. Okay. Wow. This is so specific. We're on the boat, and we are out in the harbor, and we have fishing poles in the water. All of a sudden, gzzz, your fishing pole starts to run, like run. Dude. We're like, fish on. Everybody gets their fishing poles back in the boat. You put on the harness, and you're it's go time for Gary, right? You're on the boat. We're like, yeah, dude, sit in the chair, sit in the chair. You put it in the harness. You're in the chair. You got your feet up, and you're killing it, and you're fighting this fish. All of a sudden, dude, after 25 minutes, you, you yank on it. The line goes soft, and you're like, I think I lost it. We start talking about the amazing fight that you just had. Mm -hmm. And like me and Rob are like, dude, that was amazing. High five. You're sweating and panting. So you're not really paying attention. We're like, dude, that was killer. Did you see Gary? All of a sudden, the line doesn't tighten again. It stays soft. Out of the water comes a swordfish. Mm. Up in the air. Right? Impales him. In your collarbone. And then it wiggles its swordfish butt. And it. Rips your throat out. That that the uh, hold on now the 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 sword nose on a swordfish would go. That's the length of his body. It, it went, go, well, it goes in through his collarbone, mm -hmm. out his back, so it pierces a lung. Mm -hmm. He's struggling. He's struggling for breath. What are okay. you and I doing? We're just in shock. Okay, so we're not laughing. No, 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 we're not, not laughing. Okay. And we stopped our high fiving. Okay, out of respect. Okay, a man's about to die. Yeah, Bob. of course, our friend. Gary, right? Yeah. Well, Gary. Yeah. He's gonna die. And we know it mm. because he's now he's gurgling his like lungs. Well, he's just a sword, swordfish just impaled him. Yes, and it seemed intentional. You know what I'm saying? It was almost like the swordfish knew. And are we too far out to see to get back in time to save him? Is that the deal? No, but we don't. Why? We just keep fishing? Well, it's a great day of fishing. And we chartered the boat. He's already dead. We did charter the boat. We paid twelve hundred and fifty dollars for, yeah. for the day. Would you? Would you go back? Uh, what I'm learning from this is that Rob and I need to protect our shoulders because <laughs> both of us die in a manner where our shoulder is involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but his has to. No, he kind of dies. His things that afterthought. Yours is sort of the cause of your death. You Jeez. know what I mean? I, I, again, I really just think you're you're being specific, too specific. I I've never thought about this. <laughs> you, but you asked with J forty nine. Yeah, never thinks yeah. about it. Forty nine J. Forty nine J. Yeah, but you never thought about it. No. Okay. All right. Listen, that's fine. I guess 
I don't like to give knuckles on that. That's what we were doing that before he got impaled. So why stop? <sighs> okay. All right. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I but do. but look, I don't want that for you. You just asked me how you die in my mind. And I can't I'm just reporting. I'm like I'm like a neutral emotionless. I'm just I'm spitting facts about what's happening in my brain. So I had a, a vision of Gary's passing. What happened? And here's the thing, though. I I'm a, an amazing manifester. You know, I mean, I'm a ma- I'm. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. My manifestations are redonk, right? So I had this. I was I was vision. Uh, I was in charge of a major ship, a huge ship, a cargo ship full of containers, and Gary was like first mate. You know, he was part of the crew, whatever. And I said, Gary, you got to go down to the bow, like Titanic, you know. And there's a, you know, un- unhook something. There's a line caught up and there's the anchor or something. You got to like, fix it. And Gary goes down, and then I, I go to get a beer. I take my eye off the ocean for just a split second, and we smash into a bridge. No way. Yeah, and the whole bridge collapses. It's like late at night. Oh. And Gary, unfortunately, that's how he goes. But it then, then all of a sudden, remember last month. Yeah. Yeah. That, so I was like, oh my God, did I manifest that? I was going to say, that's weird because mm-hmm. that just happened. Yeah. So yeah. that's why that's why I, I don't like to do that because- Please don't. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm manifesting this stuff. It, clearly. I'm manifesting this stuff. I mean, how do you think the Chiefs won so many Super Bowls in the last couple of years? And it comes back to the Chiefs. <laughs> I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, well- you Gary, know what? any thoughts on that? I mean, he's speechless. I, I just, I'm still stuck on 49J. Yeah, 49J. I would be too. That's it's a great slip. I know. <laughs> it's too specific. It's it's so it's like it's at the end, so you don't have to deal with the riffraff while you're on your boat cleaning it, cleaning the clams off the bottom, mm. or the blood out of the you know stern, because it's Gary who died mm. via swordfish impalage. What's your favorite thing about spring, Darren? Um, procreation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? That's the worst answer that's I've ever when, heard. That's when everybody and all animals and all life generally likes to do it. Whether it's a bee pollinating or two bison hanging out and getting weird. <sighs> or maybe it's two humans just having a nice dinner and a drink. And then, you know, afterwards, they just go, you know. That's what, it's, that's what that is. That's what I heard. What about you, Gary? What do you like about the spring? Uh, you know, I, I like the weather. <laughs> Whatevs. Claire, do you have anything you like about the spring? New opportunities, new life. Okay. Procreation. I like the spring because it's campaigning season. War campaigning season, traditionally. That's when you start your trouble. And you fight all the way through the autumn. And then you take winter break. That's why you like spring? Yeah. Really? Start of wars. Oh, God. You're freaking me out. <laughs> You're uh, coming in hot. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that traditionally throughout history, campaign war campaigns have always begun in the spring. I Okay, I just don't know many people who love spring for that reason. Okay, well... To each his own, man. Yeah. A lot of people like th- the flowers. Listen, I mean, we got new opportunities mm-hmm. from Claire. We got weather from Gary. I we don't got know. F-Sash from what Darren. Is, yeah. Is we, that what he said? We got doing it. Okay. We, get, we just th- Things do it. That's it. I'm not trying to be crass, but it's cool. Not as cool as war campaign. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. I think we've covered the basis there. Yeah, I, I think uh, 49J, I, I think we're covered. <laughs> All right. So do we feel good about May? Are we ready to launch this month? <laughs> I don't know about feeling good, but uh, <laughs> I think we covered it. I think between, but no, seriously, between all of us, we're covering life and we're covering death, right? I mean, in really, in the grand scheme of things, that's all we have. So this is this podcast is soup to nuts. Just, we will cover it all. We have touched on the lifespan of every single thing. God. That's amazing. I didn't know we were capable, but we are. That's almost encyclopedic. It is encyclopedic. It's encyclopedic. Would you say that it's encyclopedic? Absolutely encyclopedic. 
four, 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 four. Fear, 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 fear. Um, all right. Well, Gary, uh, unless you've got uh, some farts in a jar that you want to release. Um, nope, I'm all good. Thanks, Okay. Though. Then that's it, man. <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. All Riggles picks one more time. God bless you. Hey, May's going to be great. You guys are going to love the spring. It's going to be the best. It's going to be the best. I'm Rob Riggle. I'm Darren Leader. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> 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 <laughs>